dear students, I am Mrs. Jai Semi Adepeju, your economics teacher. I shall be taking you through business organization today. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Define business organization and state the types of business organization. 2. Define sole proprietorship and mention its characteristics. 3. State advantages and disadvantages of sole proprietorship. 4. Define partnership and state its features. 5. Mention types of partnership. 6. State advantages and disadvantages of partnership. What is business organization? Business organization can be defined as an enterprise set up by an individual, group of individuals, government, or its agencies for the main purpose of making profit and providing goods and services for the satisfaction of human wants. Types of business organization. There are two major types of business organization. These are private and public enterprises. Private enterprises. Private enterprises are businesses owned and managed by private individuals. The major aim of the private enterprises is to maximize profit. Types of private enterprises include A. Sole proprietorship B. Partnership C. Private limited liability companies D. Public limited liability companies E. Cooperative societies 2. Public enterprises. These are the type of business organizations owned, controlled, and managed by the government. They are associated with such name as corporation, authority, board, and commission. Let us discuss the types of business organization fully. One, sole proprietorship. What is sole proprietorship? It is also known as sole trading or one-man business. It is a form of business organization owned, financed, and managed by one person with the primary aim of maximizing profits. It is the most common business in the world and takes up as much as 90% of all businesses in a country. These businesses are common since there are so little legal requirements to set it up. The sole trader provides the capital, runs the business, undertake risk, and enjoy the profits of the business alone. Examples of sole proprietorship include farming, fishing, tailoring, carpentry, hairdressing, trading, and others. Features or characteristics of sole proprietorship. The following are the features of sole proprietorship. One, the business is owned by one person. Two, the main objective is to make profit. Three, the capital to start up the business is solely provided by the proprietor. Four, the sole proprietor has unlimited liability. That is, the owner of the business is personally liable for debt incurred by the firm. If the business fails, its personal properties can be sold to settle the debt. Five, it is not a legal entity, as the owner is not separated from the business. Six, the business is controlled and managed by the sole proprietor himself. Seven, the lifespan of the business depends on the owner. 
When we come back after the short break, we shall examine advantages and disadvantages of sole proprietorship. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Let us continue with the advantages of sole proprietorship. One, it involves small capital to set up. Two, it is easy to set up because no formal or legal procedures are required. Three, it is easy to manage because the owner can supervise the workers alone. Four, all profits belong to the owner. Five, the business can thrive in her business environment. Six, there is close relationship between the owner and employee. Seven, there is privacy in conducting business affairs. Eight, quick decisions are easily taken by the sole proprietor alone without the consent of other workers in the organization. Disadvantages of sole proprietorship. One, inadequate capital. The sole proprietor is always faced with the problem of inadequate capital because of the small size of the firm. And it is always difficult for him to source for capital outside the business. Two, problem of continuity. If the owner of the business dies, the business may also die with him, especially when there is no successor to take over the business. Three, the owner bears the risk of the business alone. Four, it is not a separate legal entity. A sole proprietorship does not have any legal personality distinct from the owner. The owner and the business can be sued together. Five, it has unlimited liability. In the event of business failure, the assets and properties of the owner can be sold to pay the creditor. Six, there is limitation in expansion. The sole trader suffers from expansion as a result of inadequate capital. Let us examine another type of private enterprises, and that is partnership. What is partnership? Partnership may be defined as a business organization in which 2 to 20 people agree legally to set up and manage a business for the sole aim of making profit. They require a deed of partnership or partnership agreement, which is a document that states that all partners agree to work with each other. The people involved in partnership agreements are called partners, and they share profits, losses, and risk of the business. Examples of partnership include 1. Gabriel and Co. Law Chamber 2. Lawa and Co. Estate Agent Features or Characteristics of Partnership 1. The partnership is owned by 2 to 20 people, but in a banking enterprise, it is between 2 to 10 people. 2. The main objective is to make profit. 3. The capital required is provided by the partners. 4. The partners have unlimited liability. They are liable for the total debt of the business. 5. It is not a legal entity. A partnership business is not separate legal entity. It is not distinct from its members. Six, the business is managed and controlled by the partners. 
After this short break, we shall consider type of partners. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the last stage of this class. Let us examine types of partners, advantages and disadvantages of partnership. Types of partners. 1. General partners. 2. Active partners. 3. Limited partners. 4. Dormant or sleeping partners. And 5. Nominal partners. Advantages of partnership. 1. Sufficient capital. Partnership has more financial resources than sole proprietorship because more people are involved. 2. Joint decision making. Sharing of ideas and skills will lead to better decision for the enterprise. 3. There is privacy. There is privacy because partners are not compared by law to publish the annual account for the public. 4. There is better management of the business. By combining skills and abilities, partnership business are usually better managed than one man business. 5. Sharing of risk and liabilities. The partners can share the risk and liability among themselves, and this will reduce individual burdens. 6. Possibility of expansion. There is possibility of expansion as extra capital is brought into the business. The major reason for forming a partnership is to secure additional capital to expand productive activities. 7. Increased efficiency. The bringing together of special skills and talent help to increase efficiency in production. Disadvantages of partnership. The following are the disadvantages of partnership. 1. Unlimited liability. The partners are liable for the debt of the partnership business up to the full extent of their estate. 2. The business is not a legal entity. A partnership is not a legal entity. It is not separated from its owners. 3. This agreement between partners can end the business. There is a possibility that a disagreement between the partners can bring an end to the business. 4. Delay in decision making. Since there is need to consult all partners before any decision can be taken, then there may be delay in decision making. 5. Limited capital. The capital available for partnership may not be enough because they cannot invite the public to raise capital as that of joint stock companies. 6. Risk of dissolution. Retirement of an influential partner may end the business. This can occur if that partner has largest proportion of capital in the business. And 7. False records. Some of the partners, especially the active partners, can use false records to gain advantage over others. We have come to the end of our lesson today. Till I come your way next time, answer the following questions. 1. What is business organization? Mention any five business organizations. 2. Explain five advantages and three disadvantages of sole proprietorship. 3. What is partnership? 
mention any five features of partnership. Thank you.